it's me. Your pal. Your buddy. The guy you can trust at the park. Eating a, a corn dog with too much mayonnaise. Sitting next to the food truck or the ice cream truck. Or the pretzel cart. Ready to tell you another bedtime story. But, but this time, we're going to do things a little differently. Do things a little differently. Because, because, this is not a real episode of Uncle John John Reads. Nah. This is a very special holiday episode. It's a, it's a special it's a special special. So Uncle John John is going to read a story about the winter holidays. And he is going to talk about Christmas, of course, Christmas. Yeah. And and Hanukkah. Of course Hanukkah. And Kwanzaa. Kwanzaa is, is in this story too. And, and Festivus, for the best of us, that's going to be in this story, I think. Because you know what? I don't know this story. I, I haven't read anything yet. I don't know anything about this story except that it has an ugly sweater. So... What happens to this ugly sweater? Okay, now, ugly sweaters are a very, very, very old tradition. In America, during the holidays, if you are a, a very successful person, or you're a very handsome or beautiful person, or you want to show everybody how cool you are, you have to wear an ugly holiday sweater. And that's just what happened here. There was a holiday sweater that wanted to be the most popular holiday sweater at all of the, of the office parties and the, 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 uh, the fraternity parties and the sorority parties and the, and the uh, uh, end of year parties and the, and the, and the chess club parties and the, the, the D and D parties that are uh, happening, where they do uh, all do, you know, uh, a, a, a one-off campaign, a one-shot, a one-shot. I guess they're called a one-shot. Um, that's uh, uh, around the holidays, you know. Uh, and and this sweater wanted to be a part of it. This ugly, ugly sweater. So what this ugly, ugly sweater did next is it, it showed something really amazing. It showed that it didn't just have big muscles, because you don't need big muscles to be a cool ugly Christmas sweater. No. No, you don't. But it helps if you have cool muscles. So, you know, everybody has biceps. Did you know that? They're biceps. Biceps are what make your arms go up, right? If you want to lift something heavy, you have to have big biceps. And you have triceps. Tri means three. That's one more than biceps. So it's more than biceps. Triceps are more than biceps. And they are the muscles that help you push down with your arms. Want to um, put something heavy down right? Then you need really strong triceps. 
But this sweater, this ugly Christmas sweater, it didn't have biceps. It didn't have triceps. It had quadriceps. That's right. It did. And that means it had it had one more than tri. And if tri triceps means three, then quadriceps means four. Because one more than tri means four. So quadriceps. And you know it's even better than that. You know it's even better. Okay, is is not just this sweater had quadriceps because it because it's was had so many muscles. It had four of them. It also had a pet, a pet dinosaur that looked just like the ugly sweater that kind of followed followed the ugly sweater around. I followed them around to. You know, all the Christmas parties and all the Hanukkah dinners and, and the, the old lady luncheons where all the old ladies wore ugly sweaters. So this ugly sweater had a little pet that followed him around and it was a little dinosaur. And do you know what kind of a dinosaur it was? It was a, a quadriceps. The other thing that this ugly sweater knew what to do was nictating I am I am mm, Uncle John John is really trusting his internet friends who helped him tell this story it's a lot it's uh, difficult to explain but but actually we need to continue the story of this of this ugly christmas sweater that is uh nictating nictating oh nictating um, is, uh, having to do with eyes. I think it's about the eyes. So, which is, which is quite interesting. Because ugly sweater... One of the things that made it ugly is that it had animals on it. It's kind of hard to see the animal animal pictures on this ugly sweater. But if you look close enough, you could see that there were that there were reindeer and there were regular deer, not reindeer, but also other deer. There was moose. There was raccoons. There were opossums, pictures of opossums. There were pictures of, of a polar bear, because that's a winter animal. That's a winter animal. Polar bear. And the eyes of all of these animals on this ugly sweater had googly eyes. And you know what googly eyes are? They're the eyes that kind of, you know, you shake them and the eyes roll around really crazy inside the little plastic bubbles that, that are in there, that are hold the eyes. And that's what this sweater had. All of the animals had these crazy eyes. So when you shake the sweater, shake, 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 the eyes would jiggle around and jiggle around. And that is, and that is, uh, what this is about the eyes. I think. Mostly sure. So. Now that we know 
what the sweater looks like with the animals and the nictitating eyes that look everywhere all at once when you shake it around, shake it around, yeah, yeah, is also it had a very um, interesting case of of pericoresis. Pericoriasis. Hold on. This sweater with the eyes and the animals uh, and the pet dinosaur called a quadriceps. That's what kind of dinosaur it is. And his big, big, big muscles. Um, could also do parachoresis dance. The, the parachoresis dance it is a, a, a fun dance. Um, it, it's, a, it's a very, very old fashioned dance, but you need three people to do it. You need two friends and you hold hands. You know what I, you know what it is? It's it's a lot like a square dance. A lot like a square dance. But you know, with with square dance, you need to have like square dancing music, which is a kind of country music, which is perfect for Christmas sweaters. Ugly. Okay, sorry, I'm sorry. Ugly Christmas sweaters. But, but square dances, you need four people because there are four sides to a square. And so, but this is, this is a, a, um, what is it? Perichoresis dance, which is only three people. Um, and, and it's a very colorful dance. It's a very jolly dance. And it's a very old, old, old dance. Also to country music. You have to play country music when you do this dance. And and this sweater, this sweater was part of a a a um a dance uh, company. That and that and that is where this sweater was going to go. Is to meet uh their dance partner partners because two more dance partners and then they were going to join the the Christmas and Hanukkah carolers down by the shopping mall okay and and they the their their little dance group was called the the winter the evergreen sleeves. The evergreen sleeves. Right, because evergreen, evergreen trees are trees that um, the, the leaves don't fall off in the winter. They stay green all year round. Evergreen trees. And there is a song called... Um, green sleeves and evergreen sleeves would be like the sleeves of a of a Christmas sweater because a Christmas sweater has sleeves like a my sweater here if you look it's it's got it's got sleeves so so his his uh, dance group um, three person uh, pericoriasis uh, dance group uh, were all sweaters, so they all had sleeves, so they were called the Evergreen Sleeves. Tough crowd. But anyway, so, so, um, the, this sweater, this ugly Christmas sweater went to meet, um, their, their partners, um, and, and along the way, they they met um, another another 
a uh, uh, group of, of dancers, para, para psoriasis sweaters, uh, dancers, dancer sweaters called the swingers. The swingers, because that's how they dance, that's their dance style is to swing around, swing around. And, and, their, and their big move, their big move was to, was to go to um, a, a playground and, and get on the swings and swing real high, but in, in, a, in a rhythm with, with, the, with the country music, the, the holiday country music, okay? And, and, and they would swing, and that's why they called themselves the swingers, which is not to be confused with the um, mid-90s movie that has Jon Favreau and that one guy who had a career but it but it tanked, uh, so he doesn't work very much anymore. But he's also an angry uh, conservative, mm, so that makes him even more angry too. So anyway, don't worry about that movie, Swingers. the The actors and the and the and the people who made that movie, they nothing happened to them. They didn't have any more career after that. So, but I have to I have to imagine. That I that I kind of liked that movie. I think I did, but I was also too young to know any better. But not this ugly Christmas sweater. This ugly Christmas sweater. He wasn't friends with the swingers. He wasn't. No, 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 no. And he was, and he was late to meet his friends. He was late to meet his friends. So he uh, kept going along the way along the way, but because he was in a hurry, um, the ugly Christmas sweater, they, I shouldn't say he or she because they don't identify as a he or a she, they're Christmas sweaters. That's awfully foolish and it's very, it's very rude to, to call a Christmas sweater something they don't like to be called. So, so they, uh, were in a hurry, and they and they were in such a hurry that they didn't drink their hot cocoa, which is what uh, Uncle John John's gonna do right now. He's gonna drink his hot cocoa. Hold on. Ah. Mm -mm -mm. He's so lucky that his mommy made him his uh, favorite hot hot cocoa. Anyway. But the ugly Christmas sweater didn't drink any hot cocoa and didn't have any supper on the, before going to meet their friends who were part of the three-person dance group, you know. And because of their low blood sugar, they started to feel a little weak. And they started to like not be able to pay attention very much. And, and, and they're... they're their eyes weren't like the eyes on the on the animals on their sweater, but actually kind of sort of they were. So when he was moving and shaking around, all the eyes sounded kind of went really really crazy all over their 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 heads, and so and so he was kind of dizzy, but not completely dizzy. In another way to say, when you feel dizzy but you're not totally dizzy, is delirious delirious that's right that's right it's also a diana ross uh, song or or i think it's a diana ross song anyway i'm getting sidetracked because uncle john john's getting sleepy and i hope you're getting sleepy too i hope you're getting really sleepy and and having said that you're feeling you're feeling uh, uh sleepy um then then maybe you feel you feel wretched wretched in a christmas story wretched is the name of this person that the ugly christmas sweater knows now if you if you if you're looking at this picture then it then it is great and if not i'll tell you about this picture 
earlier that day, earlier that day, Christmas sweater was in a business meeting with his his coworkers and his friends. And one of his friends uh, were, was in a meeting where they were having a very, very serious uh, business conversation about pineapples. Okay, and because they were in a pineapple business, and do you know why they are in the pineapple business? Because it, it's funny. Pineapples are funny. I just like to say the word pineapple. Anyway. It comes back to the reason why we see this word wretched is because ugly Christmas sweater's friend said, uh, I want to say Eureka, I have a great idea, but I don't want to use Eureka because it's used too much. I'm going to use the name of my very favorite character in a movie about birds called One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. It's a nature movie about birds, and I don't know why, but it has a nurse, and her name is Nurse Wretched. And Nurse Wretched, oh, you know what it was? She was a bird watcher, and she liked to watch watch the birds. And that's what this uh, movie was about. And so that is what Ugly Sweater's friends said. I like this movie. And I'm going to, instead of shout, Eureka, I have a pineapple idea. He said, oh, Nurse Wretched, Nurse Wretched, there is a swallow on that branch. I have a pineapple idea. And everybody was very shocked at his good idea. That's not very funny, so I'm going to keep going with my word list. The next word is moist. So, okay, Uncle John John, he likes to read children's bedtime stories. It helps him fall asleep. Mm, fall asleep, getting very tired. Mm, sleepy, sleepy, sleepy. But there's some words that Uncle John John, it's very difficult for him to say. For example, mm, lotion. Lotion is not an easy word to say. Spray. That's another one. He doesn't like to say that word. Spray. All right. Spray. He doesn't like to say that word. Oh, my gosh. Oh, uh, student loans, student loans. It's it's there's a there's a lot of weird vowels in there. It's really hard to say those words. Oh, student loans. Uh, it's always in the back of his mind. It really is. And this word, moist. And when he thinks of moist, there's only one thing that he thinks of, and that is lava cake. And do you know what lava cake is? It's a chocolate cake, but. It's made of chocolate from a chocolate volcano. And the chocolate volcano, it shoots out hot, hot, hot cocoa. But it's chocolate lava. The hot cocoa is the lava. And if you're really, really clever, you can capture and grab that hot lo chocolate lava and you can put it um, uh, in a cake. And it's called chocolate lava cake. And the next time you go to a restaurant, with your mom and your dad and your mom, you can go and you can say, ah, for dessert, I want to have hot chocolate lava cake. And if you do and you eat it and you like it, you can tell your mom and your dad and your mom, oh, I really like it. Do you know why? Because it's moist. Mm. So we're going to find out the end of the story and the end of the story is going to end with why the meeting was about pineapples. Okay, so remember the business meeting? Yeah, I'll show you a picture of the business meeting one more time. So, ugly Christmas sweater, uh, his, his friend and coworker, uh, he was one of the dancers of the periscopitis dance. And he brought with him a pineapple. 
and because because a uh, uh, ugly Christmas sweater was so delirious and was so weak, his friend said, "Oh no, you can't be delirious while you're dancing. You might get hurt, and that's not a good idea." He said, "Oh, so I have a pineapple here." Let's eat some pineapple, and so that's what they did. And uh, uh, that's the end of the story. And they had a very good uh, uh, Christmas and Hanukkah and and Kwanzaa and Festivus, and they and they danced uh, at the shopping mall with the carolers and made everyone happy and they felt happy. So I hope by now you enjoy the story and it made you very sleepy and it made you close your eyes and you fell asleep. So here is where I tell you good night. Good night.